welcome to this tutorial on how to subscribe to LRT service and use network bonding with LiveU Solo, part 2. In part 1 we had explained the process of subscribing to LRT service. In this part 2 we will set up network bonding using LiveU LRT so that you can transmit high quality video over the internet with ease. If you are new to LRT, we recommend watching our previous video on LiveU LRT technology the key to reliable and seamless live streaming, to understand the benefits and features of this powerful service. Let's get started. Now let's understand how to operate LiveU Solo with LRT. First, ensure that your LiveU Solo unit is fully charged or connected to a power source. Connect your camera to the LiveU Solo using an HDMI SDI cable. Connect the LiveU Solo to the internet using any available network connection, such as Ethernet, Wi-Fi, or cellular data. For the purpose of this demo, we will be using two cellular network dongles and one Wi-Fi connection to replicate the on-ground situation where you don't have access to the wired internet connection. Log in to your LiveU web portal on your computer. Select your solo encoder from the left side navigation menu. The status of your unit is shown next to your LiveU unit ID as online when connected. Under status you will see the status of all connected networks. To check the details or to do manual configuration of your connections, click the connections tab. Under Connections you will see all the details of your wired, wireless and USB network connections. You can manually set them up or keep them as it is as per your requirement. We highly recommend not to do any changes unless required. Click back to go to Main Dashboard. On the Main Dashboard navigate to the LRT tab and toggle the LRT from off to on. Now you need to select the zone which is a geographic region that is closest to your streaming destination, if you know it. If you don't know where your streaming destination is physically located, select the location closest to you. In our case we select India. Do remember, while unit is streaming, zone cannot be modified. With LRT activated, you can now see all the networks are contributing to the video upload. The status of active connection is shown green, whereas an inactive connection is shown yellow. To start streaming, First, you need to select your streaming destination where you want to live stream. To set a streaming destination of your choice, you can watch our previous video where we had explained the process in detail. After selecting the streaming destination, press Go Live button to start streaming. You will see a notification that streaming started successfully. Once your live U unit started streaming, the unit status changes from connected to streaming. The LiveU web portal dashboard displays all the important information related to your LiveU unit like live streaming status, video input resolution, number of current connections, current bandwidth, network signal strength, LiveU battery status, LRT status, streaming destinations, etc. When you want to end your live stream, just press the stop button on top right. Thank you for watching today's video. If you found this information useful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit from it. And make sure to subscribe to our channel for more helpful content on live streaming and technology. We invite you to join our WhatsApp chat group dedicated to technical discussions on different topics. Our group comprises of individuals from diverse backgrounds with a shared interest in live streaming and broadcasting. Gadgets Pod. Understanding technology. Elevate your live events with StreamPod streaming solutions. Webcasting, broadcasting, consultancy, India's one-stop shop for live events.